And let's open up our Bible in the book of Psalm chapter 46. Yes. And we will read from verse the whole the whole chapter from verse 1 to verse 11. And let us read this responsively. I'll read the first verse and you'll read the second and then all together in the last. Psalms 46 verse 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. And altogether, verse 11, The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Let's pray. God, thank you for this time that once again you given us lord to study and meditate in your word thank you for the whole day of worship give wisdom to each and everyone and uh, to me lord and um I, I cannot do this without your power point on empower me and um bless thy word in jesus name we pray amen and i'll be seated so last time i i have um i've shared with you psalms 42 and it was about a a discouraged christian a a Christian who doesn't have hope, a Christian who doesn't know what to do, or a Christian who doesn't really know, um, who, do, who, do, who doesn't have hope. And this, but this time, let's flip the coin and let's, um, let's talk about encouragement. And um, so we, we've, read the whole, we've read the whole chapter 46, and um, it's, a, it's a very well-written psalm. And it's one of the most touching chapter in Psalm because God spoke later in the chapter, not as a third person, but He Himself. And then, as as the chapter progresses, we we can see the promises of God, and then later at the chapter we can see the command of God. So, on the first three verses, I've noted this. I've noted here that God is our security and safety. Because, as you can see, it's very straightforward, the first verse. God is our refuge and strength, a very present in trouble. It's stating that God is our security and safety, that regardless of what the problems we have currently, whether it be family problems, financial decision makings, emotional and work-related, that you should go back and read the first, the first line of, of the first verse that God is our refuge and strength and then and then the second line after right after that is a very present help in trouble a help that a help that if you seek after God's help then that is the only time na you'll feel the help of God and that there is hope that we should put our trust in God just like Nehemiah, long chiner ni Brother John this morning, that the very first thing he did was he didn't complain, he didn't talk to his his allies, his his friends, but he he knelt and he prayed. Yes, and then on the on the later on the later verses, on verses four to seven, we can see that God is protection. That right after the proclamation of God being our strength and our security, safety, God has promised us that He is our protection. That there is a river 
a calm river of peace, joy, and love, the sacred stream of God's holy word, a river that will never dry out. But let's look closely on, on, on verse 6. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved, he uttered his voice, the earth melted. So we can see here that right after the proclamation of God being our strength, being our refuge, that there is opposition, that the heathen raged and the kingdoms were moved. So all along, um, God is... Um, Hindi maapekto ng Panginoon sa pagiging Panginoon niya. But there will be oppositions everywhere and all the time because not everyone will believe but as 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 mentioned earlier that our 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 goal our our mission is to warn. And and that is the commission that God has given us. Yes, and um And all this is possible because God is all-powerful. He is sovereign and He is mighty. And the list goes on. But I want us to focus on verse 10. That, um, the very first um, phrase that says, Be still. Uh, it's, a, it's a very powerful command from God. And, um, and right after the promise of God, nas nasabi ng Panginoon na to be still because... Because, because um, it's very plain and simple na it's not a suggestion but it's a command that yung right after that is and know that I am God. That why did God command us to be still? Because He wanted us to recognize Him as God. That you, did not, that you do not need to worry about anything else. A command once again to continually seek His will. To continually seek and know Him more. Not so, so, so two lines na yon na I think um, there are two commands. Number one is to be still, to be still that God is that God will always be there. That God is a present help in any trouble. And then the second part is to know that I am God. To know na you should always seek Him. You should always seek ways in finding His will in your life. And then. And then to continue, I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. God is sovereign. The God whom we serve is not affected of circumstances, but He will be God regardless of everything. God is above and outside the sphere of time. He will be exalted in the midst of opposition. And let us not be discouraged just because of the opposition. There will always be opposition. But as long as we keep standing for what is right, then we are fine. Um, we had we have a default response to opposition, just like what was mentioned earlier. Na we we go to our logical thinking. Na na we tend to to um sorry we tend to to fix things on our own strength, but God wanted wanted us to recognize Him as being the help that we need, and then. And then to, to, to sum everything up, uh, one of the memorable Bible stories that I personally um, kept on reading back is the story of the three Jews, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Um, let us go to Daniel chapter 3, verses 16 to 18. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image with which thou hast set up, so we can see here, we, we all know the story na the, 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 the governors or the prince, the kings, they, they, wanted, they, they wanted everyone to worship the golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar built. But they knew 
in the first place that they took these three Jews to preserve um, preserve po ba yan, bazaar? to preserve and they, um, yes they, they, they took the the three because they knew that they were different from 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 them and they yes they 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 that they knew that that these three were different and they wanted a a a child of god in, in the in the city so to cut the short the cut to cut the long story short um ayun nga na na napunta na sila sa fire furnace all three of them were sent into the fire furnace na um, and then king nabukadnesar gen, um, saw that there were four and um, and and when 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 he was shocked and amazed that na nulumabas na tatlo that they were not even touched they were very uh, parabang walang nasunog yung mga yung mga damit nila wala wala mang stain and yes they they know how to stand up and just be still in the faith and and this and they there came out four men nga without experiencing pain without a scratch na parang walang nangyari now what did the people do king and then king nabukadnesar came near the fiery furnace and welcomed them and they all worshiped and blessed god and and this is this is the this is what we we tend to forget na now we na um we we as as being in the flesh na there's always opposition now we tend to always um, listen to what other people say and we get affected because of this and then yung pananaw natin yung paniniwala natin then doon tayo nasisira doon tayo nawawala ng 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 pag-asa doon tayo nasisira doon nasisira yung mga decisions na decisions na we're gonna make whether it be little or where it be big and and this is this is this is where we fall and then and to to conclude our faith becomes larger as our faith's object becomes clearer if god has saved you from eternal damnation then why doubt god now god has commanded us to be still and know that i am god a command to remain faithful and to continue knowing, searching God's word for the purpose, of course, of glorifying Him as we proclaim the truth from His word. And then um, on Ephesians 6 verse 11, it's a very familiar verse. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may, able, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. It won't be easy for sure, but we have our refuge, just like the Apostle Paul in Acts 20:24, 20, but none of these things move me, neither count I myself, so that I might finish my course with joy in the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. And it's the same thing as when when Paul was asked Timothy to stay at Ephesus. Now he knew Timothy was was discouraged. He knew Timothy was breaking down, but Paul um, told Timothy to remain at Ephesus and to. To continue preaching and to continue standing for the truth and and we have a great God and we should have a great faith a God who's always present and ready to help us let us continue doing the will of God in our lives continue acknowledging him and be vigilant in studying his word let us all work and function together as a church and please pray with me um, let's pray God thank you for this